for the first time in my natural hair journey i felt like cutting my hair out let us just come and thank god let's thank god together because it has been a journey leave my hair in the hands of god because god gave me this hair so he he has to deal with it <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is glory okings thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to click the subscribe button before you leave okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my update on the bald spot some of you guys have been asking me about the bald spot and how it is and all that and i'm going to be talking about it today do you guys like my heart do you like my heart i made a video on how i made this hairstyle so it will be very nice of you to check it out after you watch this video okay thank you if you have not seen my previous videos i have been documenting my bald spot series for about two or three videos now so please check them out just a quick intro i figured out i had a bald spot last year towards the end of last year and i was i was really weighed down i don't know if you guys noticed i stopped um uploading natural hair videos as often as as i could because honestly i was tired of my natural hair like for the first time in my natural hair journey i felt like cutting my hair out like i don't know if i mentioned this in my other videos but i actually did feel like cutting my hair out because it was just like it was just stressful i was not in the mood to do anything like i had a bald spot the back of my hair was short like everything was just not working out for me so i just decided you know what i'm just going to leave the hair eventually it got worse and i went to the dermatologist and all that good stuff so to check out all of that information just watch my previous videos okay so right now i'm going to tell you guys an update video on it if you guys have not seen i'm going to share pictures here this is what it looked like when it started like when it was worse and then this is what it looked like in december so this is when it started and this is in December and this was when I was still taking the medications but I was not really doing much with my natural hair. I was just doing the basic washing it, deep condition and probably moisturizing it once and then leaving it until I want to style it or until I feel like moisturizing it and this was in December. So in December, mid-December, I decided to focus on my hair and actually put in effort because I've never put in so much effort into my hair like as much effort, intentional effort I would say. I put in effort but not intentional effort i decided i'm going to put in intentional effort if i don't see any difference i'm just going to you know what leave my hair in the hands of god because god gave me this hair so he he has to deal with it so in december i decided to start washing my hair at least i always wash my hair at least twice a month so whenever if i'm washing it three times a month i would make sure i pre pull my hair shampoo my hair and condition my hair then moisturize the hair i always make sure i did those four steps or pre pull my hair detoxify it is it detoxifying is that a word but you get what i mean when i use the aztec clay deep condition it after that and then moisturize it i always make sure i moisturize my hair and when i moisturize my hair i'll put a plastic bag over it i'm sure you guys have seen in my videos i always put a plastic bag over it just so that traps in the moisture into my low porosity porcy natural hair so i made sure i did those steps for every single wash day no matter how tired i am if i'm too tired to put in the heating cap i would sleep with the plastic bag overnight for that day because i don't know why i always wash my hair at night when i'm not filming i always wash my hair at night i don't know that's a very wrong decision to do because i always end up being very tired and done with it but anyways that's that so i just try as much as possible to just you know moisturize it and make sure i lock the moisture in it so when i said doing that i started noticing a huge major difference in my hair first of the texture became way better when I tell you, me, Glory O Kings, I'm opening my mouth to tell you that the texture of my hair became better. I did that continuously for my wash days and then maybe twice, at least twice a week, I would moisturize my hair because I cannot moisturize my hair every day. It's low porosity, so I can't do that. So I just had to moisturize my hair at least twice a week. So these were the things I was doing to my hair that I believed helped the bald spot more. I kind of stopped on the medication. Sometimes I take it once in a while when I feel bleh, what's bleh, bleh. When I feel down because how I noticed I had an issue was whenever I eat certain type of food, I will feel really weak when I sleep and wake up. But like when I was taking the medication, that stopped. 
so whenever i started feeling that way i would go back to the medications and take them the next thing i'm going to share with you guys now the results of what i did in december and january and the difference so now this was in december i took this picture in december i always take them on my snapchat very snapchat mm. on my snapchat camera roll so this is what the hair is looking like in december of 2020 this is a picture and you can see the date there it's, it's from snapchat so it's not like i'm lying to you guys or anything and this is the picture of what it looks like in january as you can see the difference between these two hair there are some strands of hair on the bald spot like you can see that it's growing yes the bald spots reduced like the spots the baldness of the spot reduced it closed here compared to the first initial time i found out about it and then now it's like it reduced in january as you can see there's in december in december it reduced and then in january you can see like the hair growing out and today is the i'm recording this video on the 4th of february and this is what my hair is looking like i took the february picture today and this is what my hair is looking like guys so i'm going to put the transfer the january picture here and the february picture here guys guys i no longer have a bald spot ah i no longer have oh my god guys the bald spot has grown it has grown out the hair it's not longer smooth my scalp doesn't feel smooth like it used to feel when i had the bald spots and guys can you see the difference in the hair growth like this is one month difference or two months difference compared to how it was in december and how it is now in february so guys <laughs> let us just come and thank god let's thank god together because it has been a journey emotional journey physical journey stressful journey i'm not going to lie because at a point i was down emotionally due to this bald spot so that's this is what my hair is looking like so my hair has grown guys oh let us thank god let us let us ah guys thank you jesus i'm just very happy and very thankful that this hair has grown and i'm so thankful to you guys for your support because you guys have been sending me nice messages like nice some of you guys commented on my videos um i'm really thankful to you guys for all of that i see them and i try as much as possible to read and reply as i can and i'm still thankful regardless if i've not replied i'm still thankful you guys you guys are so nice to me man <laughs> i'm so thankful by the way if you're someone who has experienced bald spots and you're healing or you're just experiencing bald spots just try to stay positive about it okay and if you've healed from your bald spots let me know what you did did you do was it medications or did you like take care of your hair better or how exactly did you like overcome the bald spots i would really love to know that okay but anyways yeah that's pretty much it i'm just going to go take some nice pictures now and feel good about myself thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye guys Thank you.